VST instruments. You've seen me use VST instruments before, but let's have a look at them in, in a bit more detail. To open them, you go into panels, go for VST instruments, and then um, click on the drop down menu and select one of the instruments. These are the ones that come with Cubase. I'm going to select the Neon instrument for now. Here is your on and off switch. Place this one over there. Now I need to set up a channel and a track. So I double click in the track area and make sure that the output points to the um, Neon VST instrument. The one means that it is the first instrument on my list of VST instruments here. This is number one. Now I can open this instrument by clicking on edit there or in the inspector there. It's another edit and I can um, change the sounds. I don't need the instrument column here. I can change the sounds but I could use the patch name here for example. Square sweep. I'll open this up a little bit more. Here is another one where you can change the sounds. Square release. On the actual VST instrument panel. As soon as you start load a VST instrument, you have or you end up with another channel with another channel in the um, mixer. I've just pressed control asterisk. And here's our VST instrument inside the mixer. And you can see as soon as I play a few notes on the keyboard, which are going in by MIDI and out by MIDI, and are routed into the VST instrument area, you can see the activity here on the VST instrument channel. And then from this point onwards, VST instruments are classed as, as being part of the audio engine which means that all the effects that you can apply here, the typical audio VST inserts and VST send effects and things like that, direct X effects, um, are all part of the VST instrument family if you so want and part of how to um, tweak their sounds. And here's another edit button by the way to bring up the um, VST instrument itself. Let's click on this one. And here you can change the sounds um, to your liking really. You've got typical buttons, different waveforms. For the time being just tweak them all and find out what happened. If you think you've found something that you really like and you want to keep this one while you, because you want to use it in a song then you can um, give it a name, you could call it um, number two for example, WAP number two and save it either as an instrument or as a bank. If you save it as an instrument you'll be just saving this particular sound with that name and if you save it as a bank it means that you're saving all of these sounds including the one that you've just changed. So I'm gonna save it now I'm going to save instrument and call it, um, it's a neon patch. And I'll call it whatever it was called on the instrument, up to. Um, and um, you can add a bit more here if you want to. Save. I'm going to close this one here now. I'm going to close this one. And I'll open up the neon instrument again. As you can see, the um, changes that I've made to this one here have disappeared because it initialized itself when it when it loaded um, from the start. But I can just go on to File, Load My Instrument, and let's load it just there instead of the boat base. So I'll load the instrument, and you can see we've got the original warped and the um, number two as well because this is what the um, position was when I when I loaded the instrument and um, and let's save a bank let's say we're here let's edit this one as well and 
give it a name, phase two B. So I'm now going to save the whole bank. I'll save the bank, I'll call it, it's a neon bank maybe. And um, let's call it, let's call it something that's part of the song. Let's say we're working on a song, let's call it the blues. And um, just save it. Now if we make any changes here, we could for example, delete those names you can see that we've modified the bank slightly, we've changed the names here and if we load in our bank again this one and have a look at the names, the names are back by the way the Neon supports 16 different sounds which you can load in either separately or all at once and if you um, and if you want to load in a different sound, just make sure that you remember that you choose um, choose a patch to load your new patch onto. For example, if you don't want this one here, and you want to replace that one, so it load an instrument, open that one, and this one here is at the same spot where the other one was before. VST instruments are really very simple, even if you open ones that are slightly more complex, like the JX16, and set up a track, JX16, see the JX16 is VST2, number 2 here, this one here looks more complex, um, but the basic principles are the same, you've got all these different um, patch names that you can use, you could go down to there for example, give it a new name, Let's call it um, summer, summer tune, and make up a sound. Just messing about at the moment, just to give an idea what you can do. Save the save the whole bank. This one is the JX six sixteen. Um, we're saving the bank. Banks, by the way, have an FXB ending, so you don't really need to put down bank here. And um, let's call it JX Bank Summer with the summer tune. Save. And you check the JX16 has also got um, a channel in the mixer setting here now in the mixer. And if I play on the other track, 